Earlier in May, an NSF died after he was pinned under a jeep that overturned. In April, a full-time national serviceman experienced breathing difficulties during a platoon exercise and lost consciousness. He was pronounced dead soon after. News of injuries or deaths in the SAF have been one of Dr. Ng Hen's low points since taking over as Defence Minister in 2011. Uh, the challenging moments are obviously safety related too when you have reports of injury or deaths. We constantly, you know, uh, not only myself but the senior commanders re-look the system, check again because we recognise that Singaporeans are precious. Each Singaporean son is precious. And we want to make sure that we have done our level best, go even many, many extra miles to make sure that we have our safety systems in place. And I think in the SAF day is also a day that we recognise those that have... Uh, lost their lives in the course of the service. Dr Ng also spoke about the personal highs he has experienced as Defence Minister. But the highs really is the quiet pride when you talk to Singaporeans, just ordinary Singaporeans who are in NS. And uh, the best examples are the old-timers who come back, not only just regulars, but NS people. And when I went on army open house and, you know, there were fathers and sons and you talk to the father and we had an exhibition of what uh, SAF kit was and things like that and it brings back memories. But that quiet pride in saying that, oh, we've come so far, we really didn't think we could come so far and that, you know, we are confident that we can defend ourselves. I mean, that's a very quiet moment. You know, I, I won't go into throes of elation, but, you know, it's just that, you know, it's just oh, we've come a long way and that's very satisfying. Dr Ng also responded to media queries on whether Singapore is still vulnerable and emphasised the importance of defence spending. We're 700 square kilometres, 4 million people. You're as vulnerable as it gets. You talk to any, I, talk, I speak to many military strategists and the moment you explain to them or sometimes we are visiting uh, chief of defence forces and we take them up in a helicopter. And they see it and they say, oh, I understand what you're saying to me now. We take them on a helicopter ride and they can see both the whole of Singapore and they, they understand, I recognise your strategic vulnerabilities. Singaporeans, by and large, recognise and understand that defence spending is necessary. It doesn't take a genius to look at Singapore and say that this place is difficult to defend. Now, whether you think you can or want to is, is a different consideration. But that Singapore requires a strong defence force uh, to defend it, I think it's accepted by, by, by the majority of Singaporeans that we ask. Uh, what, how we spend and how much we spend, uh, we are open each year to, to questions being asked. And uh, This is the NS Army. We have Singaporeans who come into SAF every year after their two years, who know what the SAF, what equipment we buy, how they operate. They are the ones operating the tanks. They are the ones you know, servicing the planes. They go into the Navy. Their touch and feel is there. They know that when we spend money buying certain things, they use it. For more on Dr. Ng's views on PRs who chose not to serve NS and how the SAF is preparing for the reduction of enlistees in the years to come, check out our other clips.